Hello beautiful people, MJ here bringing you another new video today. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, don't forget to go ahead and click that subscribe button to show some love uh, and to smash that like button to let me know that you made it through the video, which I'm hoping you do today. Uh, today's video is going to kind of be like a, more of a vlog type thing, just kind of talking about a couple of random things, uh, but things that are kind of on my mind right now and everything. First of all, what brought you here maybe with the, the uh, title and everything. <laughs> I know it's like now for me anyways, I'm gonna hope to upload this video in the next day or two at the latest. Uh, but today is November 2nd and I know you're like, why are you still posting Halloween stuff on November 2nd? Well, first of all, that pumpkin carving video, I tried for two days, two days. I spent so many hours dealing with that video, editing it, filming it, everything. So really it was a three day project because of uh, whenever I filmed it was actually the day before those two days. Anyway, not getting into any of the semantics, it took me a while to get it uploaded, finally did, and then last night on November 1st uh, was a Halloween party. My best friend threw a Halloween party uh, so that's why you're just like maybe the second, third, whenever this video is posted and you're like, why are you still posting Halloween stuff? Well, that's why Halloween fell on a weird day in the middle of the week. So there were people who partied the weekend before and we people who partied the weekend after. And then you had the people who just party both uh, <laughs> weekends. So uh, I was the group that partied after. So that's why I'm just now posting this with my uh, some of my costume and I'm like falling over uh, a little bit, but I actually just got my hair cut How's it look? You gotta let me know leave a comment below I think my hair could even just be like an arrow pointing down. Leave a comment below <laughs> I have been looking for a new barber um, Nothing at all wrong with the barber that I was going to and I had mentioned this in a previous video with my hair, I think, or I don't know. I don't even remember anymore. I'm starting to actually have so many videos I don't remember, uh, which is great. Uh, but <laughs> I am currently trying to find a new barber, the one that I've been going to for the first like year and couple of months since I moved here. Uh, I, it's just way too much money for me. I'm a, you know, I'm a college student. I can't be spending so much money on my hair every month as much as I'd love to. Uh, but in my opinion, I think it's easier to find a new person to cut your hair as opposed to color. I feel like finding a good color artiste, uh, which they are, people who do hair are artists. Like, believe it or not, like they really are. Like, they don't get enough credit for being considered an artist. But I was literally, I have been spending roughly two to three hundred dollars a month on my hair. <laughs> uh, I might see some jaws drop, I don't know. Uh, let me know if your jaw just dropped. Like this video if your jaw dropped. Uh, but yeah, I've been spending a lot of money on my hair with the color and the haircut. The haircut was around eighty dollars a month. Color varied but sometimes I was spending closer to like $300 uh, and over that, over $300 from some of the color I was doing, especially whenever I'm doing more platinum, blonde, and maintaining that is a lot of work, you guys. Um, it's been colored literally the past two years, pretty much, like at least two years straight. It has always been colored something different, uh, and so I think I'm getting to the point to where I want to give my hair a break. This like electric blue color that I had going on this past time, one, it didn't, it didn't go in my hair very well, which I know blue is like a big pigment and a lot of people have trouble getting their hair uh, to uptake that pigment. Mine does not like to uptake it, <laughs> so it just kind of sits there and it was such an ordeal. I had it all over my white uh, pillowcases. I got it on my leather couch, my brand new, super expensive leather couch, and there are still spots on it that I was not able to get out, uh, which really was agitating. Um, but So I'm never touching blue again in my hair, more than likely. <laughs> uh, but. It's just so much money and I love it. I really do. I enjoy it, but I feel like my hair kind of needs a break as well. 
Uh, so, taking a little bit of a break from getting it colored and I'm trying to find a new barber, but on the topic of the new barber, um, I've gone to someone previously before this who was also new, uh, but I wasn't able to get him booked this week for my trip to Vegas, which I have, I leave tomorrow. So that didn't work out schedule wise, unfortunately, with him. So I went to the same barber shop, but just got a different barber and I met her today and she did a really great job too. So um, I'm very happy with how she styled my hair. After she was finished with my hair, she was like, can I take your picture? Uh, and are you okay with me putting on Instagram? I was like, yeah, I get that all the time. <laughs> uh, but no, it was great. Uh, so she did a great job, so it's nice to see that I found a place that I'm still able to tip the way I, I like to tip and it be, you know, around $35 cheaper. Uh, so, I feel like you always have to do that in every video I make. Are you just not getting heard? Do you want your voice to be heard? Do you want a YouTube channel, Mia? Do you want a YouTube channel? Should I make her a YouTube channel? Anyways, like I said, this video is gonna be super random, but what brought you here, as you saw, was like the Halloween stuff, so I wanted to kind of go over that a little bit today, just with my costume. So that little intro I did, I was trying to be a little spooky and whatnot, but I'm gonna throw some pictures up uh, so you can see me in my element at the party. Uh, since in the dark you can't really see anything but my mask, but I wanted to go over my costume really quickly. So as I've mentioned now, I think in the past, in the past two Halloween videos that I've done, like with the movie trailers and then the pumpkin carving, not a big fan of Halloween. Never, never was as a kid anyways. It's starting to grow on me now, I will say. Uh, but I always hated dressing up and stuff. Uh, long story short, I thought I'd just do something super simple this year. I wanted to do something, but not, you know, be too much or anything like that, because I'm not that into it, but I, I wanted to participate. And you kind of have to for her, like she has a required dress code. So I bought this like, this Purge mask. And I really like the Purge movies. More so the third one, I like election year. Like that one I think is the best one just because there's more of a storyline to it as opposed to, oh, we're trapped in a house and some people are trying to come in and kill us. Like, that's it for the most part. And then like the second one, don't even get me started on that one. I, 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 I still don't even think I've watched that one completely through in one sitting. Like, I just, I thought that one was terrible. But election year, I really, really liked that one because I feel like there's more development, like character development and more story to it. But yeah, I really, you know how they're, they're like getting crazier in these Purge movies and stuff um, about all of the, oh wait, I just remembered there was a fourth one now, wasn't there? Oh my gosh. Uh, because uh, the first year they did it, I forgot about that one. That one's okay, but I still think election year is my favorite. But they're getting like more uh, creative with like the costumes and stuff in the purse, like the mask and everything. So I thought this light up mask was super cool. Um, it was really cheap too on Amazon. So if you're Purge fans and need a costume idea maybe for next year, look into this. What's funny is that uh, I ran into someone last night who had the same mask as me, but it was blue. And it was funny because he was like one of the upper class people because he had the blazer on and he fit the character really well. But I guess with how I was dressed, I was like one of the lower class people uh, because you know not as many low class people do the purge since they're the ones who are like on the verge of being killed or more like highly uh, likely to be killed. Um, but I wanted to go kind of like as a, a low uh, person trying to make his life out on the street, you know? Um, so I was purging. So all I did though, you guys, I already had some black joggers. I had some black high top shoes. So the only thing I really needed to buy was a black hoodie which was like 12 bucks. So super, super easy costume, right? So I wore a black hoodie and that's what I loved about this with the mask and put the hood over, uh, which you can see clearly in the pictures. Um, but the thing that you can't see very clearly is this amazing sledgehammer I got. 
with the blood on it. Like it has some really nice detailed work on it and it's super awesome. I got so many comments from this about this at the party along with my mask. Like um, I, I did get like from a lot of people that you have the best costume here, or you win. And then the host of the party, Reem, said that I won the best costume award, which was super sweet of her. Although there were some other people there who I think were definitely worthy of winning that. Uh, but yeah, this is rubber. Like it's, it's not even real, but it looks so real. And right here, it doesn't as much because the light's shining through. And so you can like see the shiny, like shimmer to it, the sheen on it. Uh, but this part is what like really makes it look so real though, because of the, the shininess on it and everything, the finish, uh, I guess that's the word I'm looking for. But yeah, so this was a really, really awesome prop. Uh, hands down, guess how much this was. So pause the video, drop a comment below, guess how much money you think this thing is. Okay, have you answered yet? If not, I'm gonna come purge you. Okay, just kidding. But this thing was 30 bucks. This was the only like bad thing, I guess you could say about my costume, like as far as cost goes, uh, because the mask was like eight bucks. That mask was $8, uh, which is crazy to me. Um, and, or no, maybe it was $15 actually. <laughs> I think it was actually closer to $15. I'm sorry I lied to you guys just now. Uh, there were some that were similar to it that were for eight bucks, but they were sold out. Uh, clearly, like, <laughs> makes sense, right? Uh, but yeah, they definitely have those for cheaper, but not whenever I looked. Uh, but the thing that you can't see in the photo that was an extra thing that kind of made my outfit even better that I got comments on was that I actually had a Bluetooth speaker in the front pocket of my hoodie. So if you look in the picture, you can kind of see something kind of like sagging down. That's what that is, is this. So um, what I did was I had two audio clips pulled up on my phone. One of them was the announcement of the commencement of the purge. And so it's just like the, the girl's voice, the woman's voice who like goes through the text and blessed be our new founding fathers, whatever that, whatever. So I had that audio clip and so I had this in the pocket and it was synced to my phone and I had it turned up all the way. But I also, as you can probably guess, had the audio clip for the siren that comes on uh, after the purge announcement. And so that was my entrance. Uh, I, I came in to the party with my speaker on loud with the siren going on. And I don't I don't wanna put the audio in this video because it's copyrighted. But I thought that was a really cool thing. So knowing me, I always have to do that little extra thing. Uh, and that's what I decided to do um, kinda uh, like last minute. It was uh, something I thought about doing like the day before or something like that. But then I had, so I had that on and I was like, this is kind of ba like too basic, you know, because they're getting so much more intricate with the Purge outfits and stuff that people go out in. I feel like in each movie, it just gets more and more like elaborate. Uh, so I decided to have, as you can see in the pictures, that little extra thing that I already had in my closet. Uh, so I didn't buy this for Halloween, <laughs> really didn't, was this harness. So, you know, gay culture, gay guys. That's like just something all of us, I think, are required to have. I've actually never worn it out in public, so last night was my first time wearing it, and I've had it for like a year and a half to two years, and I've just never worn it. Never had the confidence to wear it, especially without like a shirt on or anything like that. I don't think I'd ever be able to do that. But uh, I thought I'd put it over the hoodie to kind of give me that like grungy look, just something a little extra, um, and it worked beautifully I thought like it was so perfect uh, I walked in and then once I took the mask off people were shocked that it was me they were like we would have never expected you to like wear something so like so bleh, like that <laughs> they're like we would have never expected it from you to, to wear a costume like that but it was great I really really enjoyed it it was so much fun had a great time and uh, one thing that uh, kind of like on this note, talking about things like this, um, that has kind of been on my radar lately is people who are like thinking about 
doing things to themselves, like um, harmful things. And this has been something the past few months that has been on my heart. Um, and I know it sounds kind of random, but it really is something that's been on my mind uh, and something that I wanted to talk about and I probably will talk about more in the future. Um, but I just want to bring it up. Like I said, this video is going to be kind of random. It's just a vlog video talking about some things on my mind right now going on. But, you know, if you ever have thoughts like that, please reach out to someone. Uh, they have hotlines for this as well. Um, even if you, you dial that number and end up not talking, that is a, a tremendous step that a lot of people aren't even taking. So you should be proud of yourself for taking care of yourself and trying your best, uh, always. And just know that there is always going to be someone who loves you, okay? Um, and I know it sounds so corny, but it is so true. Um, if you're getting to that point in your life where you feel like no one matters or that you don't matter to anyone, reach out to one of your friends because I guarantee you that you do matter. Um, and again, I know this is like super random in this video to talk about, but you, you never have to go through anything alone. Don't feel like you're going to be a burden to your friends. That's what they're there for. And if they're not there for you in those moments, you don't need them as friends. You need to find better friends. Quality over quantity, you guys. And that's something that I've talked about. Um, and uh, I know in one of my first videos, I talked about that. Uh, the number of friends you have, followers, likes, uh, none of that shit matters. And the people who care about it are the people that shouldn't matter uh, to you. <laughs> like, they're, if they're so focused on numbers, I mean, that's sad. I'm sorry, but that's really sad. If that's what they're basing their worth off of, you know, it, it's ridiculous. That's not what makes you matter, okay? So don't compare yourself to people, um, Don't, especially like on social media and things like that. People only post the good stuff, okay? Um, no one's posting much of the negative. I did, um, I posted, I was very open, um, and from this video, I'm probably going to, to shift into talking about some of the stuff that I've promised you guys in previous videos uh, that has happened to me um, in the past couple of years. Um, but it's not necessarily related to what I'm talking about right now, <laughs> but uh, it is still something that was super traumatic for me. And, you know, the, the thing is, is speak out against stuff like that. You know, don't be afraid to post the bad things too. Uh, and that's what I do. I took to social media and I, I told my story and I was, I spoke out about it and I think it made me stronger and I got so many messages from people thanking me for posting it uh, because they were happy to know that they weren't alone. Um, everyone's going through something. No one has the perfect life. And if you feel like, you know, it's getting to that point for you to where you're, you're thinking about doing stuff like that to yourself, just know that there's always someone out there who has it worse than you. Believe it or not, there's always someone out there who has it worse than you. You know, you gotta take care of yourself. Um, don't worry about other people. And I don't mean that in a selfish way, but there comes a point where you really have to prioritize yourself. And there's nothing wrong with that. That doesn't make you a selfish person. That means you need to take care of yourself first. Um, and that's the thing, because if you keep caring about everyone else and not yourself, that's whenever you get to that state, you guys. Like, you can't, you can't get to that, that point because you're just gonna get burned out and caring about other people and then you forget to care about yourself. And then you get into those lulls where you think that way and you get super depressed or upset. Uh, over traumatic experiences that you've gone through and you let those take power over you and you can't do that. So just stay positive. Always, you know, give random people a compliment here and there. Say hey to people that you don't know. Like, let them have a moment with you. Uh, and I think what kind of led me into talking about this today was with my barber that I went to today. She just turned to me at the end and she was like, thank you so much for coming in today. You made my day. And it was just because she loved my hair. <laughs> and the fact that I'm one of those people that comes into a place uh, like for a haircut and I say, do what you want to do. And I really am, you guys. I am one of those clients. I'm like, what are you feeling today? 
and I let them do their art. Like I let them be creative and express themselves. It's just hair. It grows back. I'm not super concerned. Now I do have, a, you know, preferences. I like something a little different. I don't want it to be something basic. And that's why I like to do that because typically if you ask a stylist to do your hair the way they want to, you're going to get a little flare of something. Something's going to be different. Something's going to stand out. And she got so much joy from it, you guys. Just something as simple as that. She was so happy and was like taking her pictures and so excited, uh, you guys. And it just made me feel so great to be able to have an impact on someone like that today. Uh, just something so simple without even meaning to. Like that wasn't the point of why I asked her to do it. That's just something I've always done with my stylist, but it meant so much to her uh, that it made her day. Go make someone else's day today, you guys. Really try to just be there for each other. We live in a world with so much negativity. We, we gotta knock that, knock that shit out. Like, I, I'm tired of, of only focusing on the bad. We, we need to come forward and just show people love, okay? Uh, and it's so cliche and mushy, I know, and corny, but it's so true and so needed right now. Uh, but I'm gonna get off this uh, soapbox. <laughs> this tangent that I'm going uh, and go watch some football uh, to relax a little bit. I am so tired from the party last night. Uh, but I love you guys and thank you so much. I'm so close to 400 subscribers. Uh, so let's keep trucking right on along. Share my videos. Uh, tell your friends about me. Uh, just, 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 you know, interpret that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But no, like just please show some love uh, to other people. Just try to share the love. Uh, share some love right now and click that like button. That can be your, your good thing for the day. Uh, make my day. I made someone else's, now it's my turn. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but I really love you guys. Thank you so much for the growth I'm seeing on my channel and supporting it and subscribing to my channel. And I, I really just, I don't know what I'd do without you guys. Uh, I love talking with you. And uh, until next time, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Okay, bye.